All right, cool. So, so we're here uh, with Cal Connor, uh, who actually took the Build Your ISA course uh, uh, over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, right? So it's always interesting to jump in and see, you know, how's it going? Uh, how are things? Uh, and because, you know, but essentially the Build Your ISA course is a course on how to build your own call center, right? Uh, for ISAs and scale it. Um, and I'm really happy to talk to Kyle Connor here, who's built a, a pretty awesome business uh, and actually, you know, uh, uh, ran with that model and has really scaled it up pretty impressively. So Kyle, uh, tell us, where, where were you a year and a half ago? Where are you right now? And, and how uh, did the Build Your ISA course kind of help you get there? Yeah, uh, Gus, obviously it's so good to connect with you, man. Uh, it's crazy to see how... Uh how much we can get done in a matter of about a year. Um, but yeah, we did, <coughs> excuse me, a, um, we started with zero callers on your course. We uh, hired our first acquisitions manager for our wholesaling business. And um, from there kind of exploded, we opened up a consulting business to help new and tenured wholesalers and also some more small to medium sized business real estate investors build out their systems and run their campaigns for lead gen. Um, and so within a year's time frame, we now have a team of about 15 callers uh, in Egypt as wow. well as in America. So yeah. the team is growing crazy fast, man. And again, that was all based on the confidence that your course gave us and the enablement that you gave us. We really took and ran with it. Um, and it's it's been a humbling experience. It's been a fun in a lot of ways, stressful at times. Um, yeah. But again, all that I still have, you know, your notes from our course engagements and our coaching calls where I'll often refer back to, you know, HR related issues, how to handle certain dynamics between international employees, how to audit them for QA. There was oh, so man. much value in that course, man, that I'll even find myself going back to and just reminding myself, okay, when these situations occur, you know, how did Gus and his team handle it and what are best practices in these situations? So it's been uh, an awesome ride so far, man. Like I said, we're 15. We're probably adding, a, we're at a pace we're adding about three to five clients a month. And with that comes about anywhere between five to seven new team members, depending on if they're part-time or full-time wow. a month. Awesome. So it's a lot, it's growing pretty quick. Yeah, no, and it's really impressive to see because, you know, you took the model that we presented and you guys took it international. Uh, you focused it on wholesaling. So, you know, definitely, you know, kudos to you guys, right? Because you took a model that you liked and it worked and you really made it your own and expanded it, right? Uh, uh, really, really impressive. So if someone were considering, you know, uh, uh, taking on that Build Your ISA course, dipping their toe in there, looking in there, what would you recommend? What, what, what's the insight you can grant them on that? Yeah, so, you know, certainly one of my best takeaways and hum when I say humbling, um, you know, you really have to be patient when you're working with people, right? This isn't a piece of software. This isn't a product or on Amazon or Walmart that you're flipping, right? These are people that are that are there to be a part of something bigger. And one thing that I've really understood is um, being patient with these folks, but also having proper structure in place that they know exactly what to be doing every single day. That was something we sort of skipped a few steps on. And it caused a lot of friction and it became very hard for people to really come in. And when problems arose, it was just, just it was dysfunctional at times, right? And you learn from these experiences. But, you know, what I will say um, and what's been very rewarding is once you're able to get these team members in and get them a part of your business, especially a company that's in kind of hyper growth mode, I've found that most people want to be a part of you know, that development of the company more so than being in the cog of a wheel of, you know, just a standard, probably real estate business where it's like, here's your script, don't divert from it. And here's your day to day and you clock in, clock out. And, you know, we've done a lot around culture and making them feel like they're a part of, cool. of this awesome business that's growing pretty quick. So I would say, you know, definitely, you know, go in with patience and also make them feel like they're an integral piece of your, of your company and they'll work very hard for you and, and wake up every single day energized. Cool. Awesome. Kyle, appreciate you, man. Congratulations on your amazing success uh, uh, with building up that part of your business and helping out, not just doing your own deals and your own business, but actually helping out other wholesalers and real estate investors because, uh, you know, taking it to the masses. So awesome. Congratulations, man. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate the time. Look forward to catching up soon.